Hello YouTube, today I'm going to talk about my 350 Magnum Diana and my Crossman 1077 Repeat Air. That Crossman, I just bought that um, a few weeks ago. Uh, let's start with the 350 Magnum. Um, great wood. Uh, I have the Walter Scope mounted on it with a damper mount. I needed that. Uh, plastic trigger, unfortunately. Automatic safety catch. Uh, rubber butt plate. Um, great barrel, though. Just had a new one. Um, high cheek peak. Still good quality, very good quality. Um, here you can see I took the sights off. I just like that a bit better with the scope on it. Here you can see I took it off. Um, it's pretty heavy for an air gun and pretty long too. But uh, you can get used to that. It's uh, no big deal. Good for sporting, I say. <laughs> uh, the cooking is also pretty hard. But... Uh, Another thing you can get used to, so it's no big problem. Great rifle. Um, today uh, I shot a tile um, from about uh, 120 meters, I believe. Um, I was a bit surprised because uh, the impact was uh, pretty big and the distance was also pretty big for an air gun. Although it is 5.5mm, uh, but still, it is uh, quite a distance, I believe. Here you can see me uh, walking that distance. Yeah, I recorded my, um, my voice over uh, later on, and I'm just watching what I filmed today and uh, talking over it. But um, in a minute we arrive at the tile. I was uh, very surprised about the uh, accuracy. There was one of the, um, well, not the first time. It was on the time I went beyond 100 meters, and power, as you can see, is still big. I just uh, played them uh, together again. Uh, the power is pretty big, even on that distance. You can see the holes. Some went through. It took chunks out of it, and you see this when I turn it around. You can see it just blew pieces out of it. Not totally an exit wound but you know what I mean even there in the middle um, let's shoot it then there we are cocking is okay scrum some ammunition safety off uh, don't mind my red hands it was pretty cold that day <laughs> also has uh, quite a recoil and I'm not jagging the trigger but it ha it's the recoil you see uh, but also another thing you get used to all around bang I didn't know if you heard it but I shot another piece of the tile there was a, a bit shorter distance, it was like uh, 30 meters or so. You can see another piece of it. It's reloading. If you see that little hole beneath it, um, I accidentally hit it in there, right in there. I didn't mean to, but it uh, <laughs> had a nice effect though. Yeah, you can see it on the right. It's the uh, end of the beautiful day, isn't it? But, um, just uh, showing off my pretty lady there. <laughs> Just a shot in the water, give an impression. Pretty loud, pretty big. Well, let's uh, talk about the Crossman Repeat Air 1077. Uh, plastic, uh, the butt is uh, empty, it's, it's hollow. That's how you say. I have to fill it up. Didn't do that yet. Uh, fiber optic sights, not bad. Um, a bit dirt on it. A magazine, rotary magazine of 12 shots. You probably knew that already. Um, safety catch.
Uh, oh yeah, that's uh, you unscrew that, put a CO2 power let in it, and then uh, screw it back on. Then you're armed. Let's say it that way. Um, this is how you uh, load the gun. You uh, screw that off. You just screw it off. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, take the CO2 power let. These, these, uh, these things cost about um, what do you say, 50 cents or something. I just bought uh, 30 pieces of it, so uh, I'm pretty prepared. Just screw it back until it uh, can't go any further. Not too tight, because uh, that's no good for your gun. Okay, um, the magazine. You can take the uh, rotary clip out of it. Pretty easy. Also, all plastic, but I don't have real uh, big problems with it. Uh, then you have to reload it one by one. You have to do that every time, but um, well, you just should buy more magazines, and um, that's also just fine. Out of one uh, CO2 power let, you can get uh, four magazines of it. You can count yourself four times twelve. So uh, if you buy four mags, you know that when you go with one power let and four mags, that's just a quite good uh, combination. So when you're through your mags, you also through your uh, CO2 power. Load it back in. Looks fine. And we are reloaded. Let's fire the thing up. So, yeah, new magazine hit. Safety off. Trigger is, uh, well, not really heavy, but it's different, let's say, than that way. Of course, uh, with the trigger, you do the um, rotary uh, action of the magazine. Hey, you can see that bit. That's quite heavy. Nice gun, though. I shot it on a yeah piece of tin and plastic. I missed a few, you see. Hit that. This was about 50 meters. And it was out of gas. <laughs> so, um, this is the. Uh, Another firing on the water that gives an impression. Rapid fire. This is on a, a bit of the last gas I had. So when you are starting with a fresh CO2 power, that it looks uh, a bit more impressive. So overall overview, um, my Diana 350 Magnum is just the best rifle there is. Good quality. Costs about yeah, four four hundred thirty euros. So not really bad. And the Crossman, uh, only 100 euros. Oh, I forgot to say, um, the unjamming uh, thing <laughs> for the Crossman, I almost forgot, I had to do it on the end. It, um, you can see it, it's now forward, and then it will pull it back, and the barrel will also be back.